feel like the price is right. Magical hands, magical hands. All right, Loski, ready? Yeah. And have you ever wanted to learn how to cook competition ribs? Here's your chance. These Johnny Trigg style ribs are the best you're ever gonna taste. So good. What's up, Rec Tech family? I'm Chef Greg, and today we're gonna do something super simple. We'll show you how to do some Johnny Trigg style St. Louis ribs. Johnny Trigg is an American barbecue celebrity. Although I don't have his rubs or sauces, who needs them? We got our own. Our Rec Tech Roll Spices and Sauces is gonna carry this over the top. But I'll show you his style of wrapping the ribs. It's pretty unique, and um, ultimately it's really delicious. So we've got these two racks of St. Louis ribs, and there's a membrane on the back, and we gotta get rid of that. Uh, there's a couple ways to do it. Personally, I'm a fan of the butter knife and the paper towel. So it's super simple, I just kind of take that knife up underneath on the back of the bone and kind of pry it up. And then I'll come over top with that paper towel and just grab a hold of it. And of course it rips. It never happens on camera like that. But don't worry, rip off what you can rip off. I like it because it's nice and flat and I can go on the back of the bone. And I don't want to use a sharp knife, or God forbid I like go through it, I don't cut myself. Um, people use a fork or a spoon, ultimately whatever works for you. Some people leave it on, um, you can definitely leave it on if you want. To me I take it off because I think it makes a more tender, more supple rib. Alright, so I'm going to use a little bit of mustard as a binder. You don't have to use anything, these ribs are nice and moist. But I want a little extra glue because we're going to put some extra seasoning on here. For those of you that don't know, I can't stand yellow mustard. I don't care if it's on a hamburger or a hot dog, I don't like it. But it acts like really good seasoning glue. First and foremost, we're gonna crush this with some Ben's heifer dust. I want a little salt, pepper, garlic on my ribs. So we're gonna get plenty of sweetness later on. I wanna start bringing this to Flavortown. I can't say Flavortown, that's Guy Fieri's thing. We want a symphony of deliciousness. Um, I don't worry about putting uh, mustard on the back, they're already wet enough. And for that sweetness, we're going to do that Rasa Ruski's Honey Rib Rub. Delicious. This is also going to give us some really good color to the ribs. That paprika in there. And again, be liberal on the seasoning, guys. That's why they come in big bottles. Again, over the top. Woo! Make it rain. Um, normally, I'm going to let these sit in the fridge for about an hour or two to kind of tack up. Um, I don't want to put them into the grill right away because that moisture really hasn't kind of, uh, de you know, a... Uh, what am I trying to say here? That moisture in the rib. Ben's going like this. Why are we going like this? It binds. It binds. That was a great, great hand signal. Okay. I want to let these sit on the counter for about a half an hour. Sometimes you can put them in the fridge for a couple hours or even overnight. I don't want to put them in the, the grill right away because the seasoning has not binded to the meat yet. You missed that. Was that a good one, Ben? Good joke? All right. We want that season to kind of, uh, you know, rehydrate and kind of soak into the meat a little bit. And it doesn't take very long, and that's why we added that mustard in there. The vinegar helps do that as well. But we want these ribs to cook, and they're going to be amazing. We're going to do this Johnny Trick style. I've got the RT700 preheated to 275 degrees. It's 275? Chef, can you smoke at 275? You can absolutely smoke at 275. You can cook, smoke at 225, 250, 275, or 300. I tend to cook my ribs a little bit hotter because there's some fat in there. I want to cook that fat out. And for me, I feel it kind of yields a more umptious rib. So I'm a 275 guy. If you want to go 275, hey, that's how you live your Rec Tech lifestyle. That's cool. Rec Tech lifestyle. Or if you're impatient, like some days, you can go 300. But done a lot faster. But uh, I'm going to let these sit for half an hour. I think it's time to grab some more co coffee on this cold day. Eat some more boiled peanuts. Be back in a second. On fire. It's really important to put your ribs in, give them a little squeeze and that way that meat's going to plump up 
And another thing you can do is take a little bit of that squeeze, the spray butter rather, just kind of mist it over the top. Oop, spraying butter everywhere. That'll help get some good color going. All right, we'll let these go for about two, two and a half hours until they look really good. And then it's on to the next step. All right, our St. Louis ribs have been smoking for about two hours and 30 minutes or so. Johnny Trigg himself can't make him any better, so let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to wrap these up with a little bit of brown sugar, uh, some parquet squeeze butter, some honey, and a little tiger sauce. Ooh, tiger sauce. That's not tiger. <laughs> now for the Johnny Trigg method. Let's get it done, people. We're gonna sprinkle a little bit of brown sugar on the bottom and bake, make it about as long as the rack of ribs. Hit it with some honey. Woo -hoo -hoo. A little squeeze butter. And you gotta use the margin here. If you use real butter, it's gonna burn. Not good stuff. And then a little tiger sauce. So this is gonna be found in the condiment oil aisle of the grocery store. It's like a sweet chili uh, glaze. Maybe a couple tablespoons of that. Ooh. And because it's a Rectech recipe, we're gonna bring a little sweetness to the table, a little of that raised warm apple pie. And just a little bit more of that honey rib rub. Time for the ribs, check these out. All right, now you wanna lay these meat side down on all of that. And just simply repeat, a little more sugar, a little tiger sauce, child please. Honey. A little that apple pie rub and honey rib on the top. A little squeeze butter. I'm telling you people, you'll never make ribs any different. And we wrap these up, you wanna be careful that we don't uh, poke any holes in the foil. Nice and tight, and then we'll just repeat. So we'll cook these for about another hour, um, hour and a half, and what we'll do is we will check these. And once they probe about 207 in between the bones, they're ready for the last step. Ribs been wrapped up for just shy of two hours. Let's take a look. And again, the Johnny Trigg method pretty much makes its own sauce inside there. Holy cow. I'm telling you guys, I wish you could smell these. Look at those ribs. Good texture. Now to finish them back off, what we'll do is we'll put them back on the grill for about another 35, 45 minutes or so. And we'll glaze them with some sauce. And if you wanted to, you could take this uh, this sauce here in the foil, cook it down till it's nice and thick and glaze that. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you, once you do ribs like this, you're never gonna do them again differently. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this, uh, close this grill up and we will let these go for about another 35 or 45 minutes. All right, so we've had our ribs back on the grill for about 15, 20 minutes. They are looking good. They're, they're telling me they're getting almost done. The bones are starting to, the meat's starting to pull back a little bit from the bones. I'm telling you, like the, the smell coming off of these things, super, super tasty. But we took all that, uh, that wrap liquid and cooked it down. Got it nice and, and sticky and thick. We're just gonna baste these ribs probably two times and uh, let them rest and slice them up. But that honey, the brown sugar, that tiger sauce, Come on in here, Ben, take a look. Oh, you ready? Yep. I'm telling you guys, another 20 minutes, these Johnny Trigg style ribs gonna be fire! 
Me and Ben are hungry. We gotta eat. We've been working all day. It's lunchtime. All right, our Johnny Trigg style ribs are done. Look at the sheen on those. And again, this is a competition style rib, so it's gonna have a little bit of bite to it, but you can't tell me. Look at the, look at the ooze. We literally have juices oozing out of the rib, right there. All right, we've been patient. We can't be patient no more. It's time to cut these up. These ribs are looking great. And again, this uh, competition style ribs can have a little bit of bite to it. Not gonna fall off the bone. If you want these to fall off the bone, uh, let them go another maybe 30 or 45 minutes wrapped. But look at that. Look at that smoke ring, the glistening. Flip these over, make pretty again. And uh, I think I'm eating this one. So, cheers to you, cheers to me. Johnny Trigg, your recipe is pretty delicious, buddy. Mm-hmm. Mm. What's so crazy is like, you get just like the faintest little bit of apple from the apple pie rub. I'm telling you, like, that stuff is super secret. Super good bite. Good one, right there. Bye, Felicia.